Hey guys, welcome back to this creating a blog with Spring Boot and Vue.js series. Last video we checked out how to interact with Spring Boot through Vue.js and send a GET request to fetch our posts. Right now what we want to do is to create a login page and I already did that with some markup. This is basic stuff, I won't do this on uh, this video. Um, and we will like to send a post request and obtain the token. So if we check this out in Postman, it's fairly easy. All you need to do is send a post request to the OAuth slash token endpoint. And we can do this both uh, two ways. The first way is to actually attach um, a get on the as get parameters. Um, the grunt type, the username and the password, which is completely fine. Uh, but uh, for this video, I will like to avoid sending those in the URL itself. So what I want to do is to attach those as a form URL encoded. And uh, so the endpoint is going to be OAuth slash token. In the authorization tab, we'll have to set up basic authorization and have username and password set up as follows, or uh, as you did configure those in the configure method of the authorization server configuration class. So as you can see, we have a with client uh, of my trusted client and the secret, it's secret. So I just plugged those inside Postman. Sure enough, if I send the request, I can see that I have uh, received the access token with the token type, the expiration and the scope. So this is working just fine. Unluckily, I found out that this is not as easy as I wanted in Axios as I went through the um, coding. The problem being that Axios, by default, serializes JavaScript objects to JSON. What we wanted to do right here is actually uh, use a form URL encoded. In the Axios documentation GitHub, though, they have a couple of solutions to do this. Uh, the second one right here is to use the QS library, which is completely fine, I guess, but I didn't want to import more things inside of our projects. And the first solution they suggest is actually to use this new URL search params, which is a solution I'm going to use. But uh, the main problem with this is that, it's, um, as you can read right here, note that the URL search params is not supported by all browsers. Um, so there is a trade-off between the two solutions. I guess the perfect solution uh, is unknown to me at the time of this re recording, but if you have one, please feel free to comment and suggest this. Um, let's dive into the code. So let's dive right into the code. Um, I created a login HTML file. Uh, we'll rewrite this as soon as we can. So. Let's comment this out and rewrite it from the start, also because this is not working at the moment, so we'll rewrite those. this. So I created a simple page uh, where I have a username and a password and a couple of vmodel tags which are basically mapped to the data right here. So mm, I'm going to rewrite this just for the sake of doing this together. So we create a new view instance, the first thing we do. And we can attach the L to the root. So the root, once again, is basically saying that Vue.js is going to work within the div with an ID of root, as you can see down here. So the data is going to be a username and a password. So, yeah, this should be it. I did wrong parentheses right here, so I'm going to fix this real quick. Okay. And we'll have a methods which are going to be basically defined by the login method. So, 
So, uh, I forgot comma right here. So, the login method basically is going to do post request. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do this as explained right down here. So, sending this params through a new URL search params. So, I'm going to copy this real quick and I'm going to paste this uh, straight onto here. So, I'm going to paste this. Uh, then I'm going to open up an Axios request as follows. And we can also do this with the, using the post Axios post, but I'm going to use the default Axios right now. So, um, and we're going to add method post. The URL is going to be the same one that we just used with Postman. So it's going to be OAuth token. And the authorization is still going to be the same that we used with Postman. So Postman. So I'm going to just do uh show you so that you can see so the url is oauth token as you can see down here the username is my trusted client and password is secret so just kind of copy these this real quick and password is gonna be secret okay so what we need to do more is actually add the headers uh, i'm gonna copy this out because this is the way uh, it's way faster if I copy and paste this. This is just a standard uh, uh, header. You can copy this even from Postman if, we, if you prefer. So just copy this from here, I guess, or whatever you want just from here. It's just that to make this work, you either do this as an inline uh, request, like a get request um, parameters, passing this true. Or you can do this sending those in the body of uh, a post request. And this is what we are trying to do as of right now. So once again, let's go back. We have headers. We set those up. We are good to go. We will have to modify these params right here so that we can pass those as um, to, the, to the body uh, of the Axios method right here. So on the Axios page, it actually passes these params just right that, like that. So let's see and if it, if this works uh, as expected. So the first param we're going to do is grant type, which is going to be, in this case, password. The username is going to be just, let's do a try with an old username. As, I mean, a username by default, and then afterwards we will try and catch the ones from the form. And uh, the password is gonna be admin password. Okay, there we go. And as data goes, we will pass params and see if this works or it's gonna be it's gonna go horribly wrong. I'm gonna restart the server and let's see if this. Uh, works or not. So I restarted the server, surely enough it wasn't working, but uh, I found the problem. We do not need these couple of parentheses right now. So I'm gonna restart the server once I remove those. So it's gonna be just like that data params. You don't need the parentheses. Uh, what's wrong with me? And after that, we're gonna inspect, we're gonna submit. And surely enough, we have this wonderful request and this wonderful response, which is exactly what we wanted. So now that we have it, first thing we're going to do, let's try and plug this as um, we will not hard code this, but we will take those data values from login form. So the thing I'm going to do right now is uh, grab these uh data values i'm gonna plug those in at the params append um so i'm gonna do this username right here and this password right here so that it takes the form uh inputs in the as params of the post request if we restart the server 
and go back to the server login page. Going to refresh this. Going to plug in username admin, password admin, password. Going to submit. Sure enough, we have a response with the access token and the expiration date and everything we need. So this is working fine. And we'll now, uh, in the next video, we'll have to uh, try and do something with this access token. Maybe store it in a cookie or something like that. Maybe um, do uh, operations with it that we cannot normally do if we're not authenticated. So we'll make sure to look into those in the next video since this has uh, got quite long already. Have a good one, everyone, and uh, see you in the next video.